Hey guys, thanks for watching Decor with my favorite groomer on YouTube. This video is a quick tidbit about grooming tables. And I wanted to first tell you, I have a, I have a, gone through several grooming tables, all different kinds, because I resell them and I will sell the, the table I'm actually literally working on. As long as I have one table, I'm good, right? So my original table was about the size of this, which is about an 18 by 30. This is my favorite table here. I use it all day long every day and even on some kind of medium large dogs I'll put them up here I have very rarely taken them off my risers so I've got table risers and by the way if you need a table please let me send you an affiliate link or order it on our website myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop that supports us for you learning everything through us so thanks a lot if you need a table please let me know just email me d-e-d-e -D -E underscore grooms g-r-o-o-m-s at yahoo.com and say hey Didi, I need a table these are the kinds of dogs I work on, Shih Tzus, Lhasas, or Huskies, or tell me what you need, and then I'll tell you a few links and see which one you know best fits your needs, okay? So I'm just gonna go as fast as I can through this so that you guys just repeat this video and watch it again, but these are my grooming tables and then also some tidbits about them, okay? So that's my favorite, it's about an 18 by 30. You can see it is on risers. We sell the table, we sell the risers, we sell the table with the arm, we sell the arm alone, okay? And we sell the groom loops. All this is about like the table situation. So your clamp situation, we can sell you a clamp too, here. If you, if you already have an arm and your clamp broke, it can, if your table flies over, it can break, okay? So an arm comes with a clamp, comes with a table usually. Sometimes this clamp is really cheap, so it depends on what you're getting. This one's metal. It, you, you can buy a table arm by itself. If you need one of those, please let me know. If you have some kind of table you can use at home, throw a towel on it so the dog doesn't scratch it all up, then you can have, make your own table, okay? See, the arm is going to come around this way. Just avoid all this stuff. Um, it's got a groom loop for our groom loop. My favorite groom loop is going to be the 18-inch, which they're all in the, the bathtub area right now. He probably can air dry. He might be able to do some blow drying on his legs, but he could probably air dry. He's pretty short. Okay, so this is my favorite groom loop because I use it on most dogs, including large dogs on the large table. That's the 18 inch and it's got this real easy. So the dog's in here, the head's in here and you can easily move this. Some of the ones I see you guys getting and the ones that come with these tables are really cheap. You've got to use two fingers to kind of adjust that thing. And I hate them, okay? So that's my favorite groom, t groom loop. We sell them again on myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. Okay, so that's my favorite groom table. I use that on almost every dog. Now, when it comes to a husky or something like that, then you're gonna come over here and I have my electrical table. It took me about four or five years, I think, to save up for my electrical table back in the day. And it was thousands of dollars. Nowadays, you can kind of get something that might work for you. That is below, it's not a thousand dollars. This was 20, I think 25, almost $3,000. So it's got, this is electrical and I'm gonna just raise it up with my electric. It's gotta be plugged in. It is, let me see if I've got my tape measure here somewhere. Which I don't. Hold on one second, we'll be back. Okay, so this one is the electrical table. 36 inches by 24 inches. Now, what I was thinking I would do, if you saw, see my older videos in a red smock way back in the day in like a warehouse looking building, I actually used this on all the dogs for a while. And what I found was just, if you kind of can see, if I have a small dog here, then my body is like, if it's, if it's up, because you want it waist high, you want it up here, you know, if you've got a small dog here, you're gonna be, you're gonna lean over a lot grooming this dog. Whereas this smaller table, uh, my body is like right here, right here working with the dog. That little lean in the long run will cause just some lower back issues. You're gonna feel that lower back kind of being, you know, you're gonna feel it at night. Let's just put it that way. So what I decided to do was go ahead and bring back that size table, which is a, a table kind of that I started on which I resold after time the top had to, and I used it outdoors too during outdoor nail trim events so that original table um, had the arm that was built into the table so it started rotting right in there because I got it wet you, you want to clean your table fold it up put it in the tub clean it with sanitizer you want to clean that so after I don't know I think I had that table like 11 years and I sold it used to someone who a little old lady who was going to be grooming her dogs at home 
and she had three small dogs. So I resold it to her for, you know, 50 bucks when I had bought it for 150 bucks 10, 12, 11 years ago. And I gave, it had, um, I had to replace the knob a few times because the knob broke, you know, working outdoors in the heat. Sometimes things, heat starts to destroy your equipment. But I got the electric table thinking I would do all the dogs on this to save my back. Well, as big as, so you have to look at the base of where they're standing, this. If you're doing small dogs and you have to lean a lot, you're going to find like, you're, or, or you're not going to know that you should just go to a smaller table, okay? So it just depends on what you're doing. Yes, you're going to have to lift your small dog up, but most of the time I don't have a small dog jump up here anyway. I just lift that dog up. But I'm really good about wanting to say, hey, no, you know, when a dog, when a dog owner wants to give me their pet in their arms, I usually say, go ahead and put your pet down on the ground. Because I can do lifting all day long on a small dog and it will affect my body. But a pet parent is lifting that dog just maybe once or twice a day, right? If that, like maybe they're just giving her to me once a month and they don't have to lift every dog. So don't, don't be afraid to say, no, go ahead and put your dog on the table. I've got to lift her at the table so I don't want to carry her through the salon in, in time that's your elbow your wrist and just your back in general so just some little things to ease up kind of working so hard having to make us work so hard because we you can see the grooming we have a lot to do when it comes to grooming okay next thing is this groom loop that's on this large table you don't necessarily need a groom loop like this um, the groom loop this long 24 inch groom loop is my favorite I have a few of them I have th more large than smalls but the arm itself is gonna be adjustable here. On this table, they don't make them like this anymore. I got this sweet arm. This is why I wanted this table. I can move this arm right out of my way. It's so awesome. This is why I wanted to use this table for small dogs. Unfortunately, I still have that one. Um, but this right here, do you see how low this is? Even at the highest position, it's still really long. So that golden retriever, the hundred and something pound golden retriever, we still use the small groom loop. So you can't go wrong with the small groom loop. However, um, like if you come all the way up here, like this is gonna come all the way out, right? You can come up to this. If a dog was this high up, and let's just say he's that big, bring him down. He's right here. His neck is still down here, which I don't want. You want control of the neck, so you kind of want it up here. So again, going back, the 18-inch groom loop is probably your best bet, even on a large table. A dog can bend this, okay? A 100-pound dog can take a lunge and decide to jump with this much room to leave and bend this. So you want to keep it controlled. And I try not to bring this area down here, like right here, it's at the edge. This is at the edge and this is at the edge. You may not want to do that. That's why the golden retriever is down here right now with an 18 inch loop. Okay. Some arms, we sell a lot of arms. You can actually flip this over here for travel purposes or out, get it out of the way while you work on a dog that you're not having to use the arm for. I have never used that before. <laughs> um, okay. Next thing is, let's talk about arms real fast. So you can see this arm on my table right here. Thirty, thirty, about thirty. I think that they probably sell this one at thirty-six or thirty-five inch arm, maybe even thirty-four. But you go down here. Yeah, you're looking at 30, about thirty-five. At the bin, it's 33, but you have to go all the way up to the top, and I would say there's say this is probably a 36 inch arm. That's how it's sold. And let's go look at some of the uh, others that I carry. The thing I want you to understand is the table arm that you come with, that, that you get when your table comes with, is usually uh, this arm right here, something like this, which is, this one's probably, a, this is a 32 inch arm, so that's standard, okay? And then your clamps come, and then, so look at these other ones. So you, I don't know how far I put the camera. Can you see all this? It's a lot of information to take in, right? Can you see these table arms? Okay, so this black table arm, you can flip it over here for travel or to get it out of your way, okay? But the key is, it's stronger metal, uh, to me it's stronger, but it's actually also longer. This is 48 inches, okay? And then this one here, okay. 
same thing, 48 inches. Kind of because of the bow, it looks a little, oh, because they're, they're, they're different plate. they're in different places. So there's different qualities and different sizes of arms, okay? And this is one of those cheap ones. If someone buys a groom loop, I tell them, hey, please buy, uh, uh, pay extra for that other one. I hate this groom loop, man. That's not fast enough for me, okay? This one's okay. It's cheaper fabric. Those just come free, okay, with the arm. With the arm. But if you upgrade it, we just don't even give those to you. They're, I don't know if I give them to you. I don't know, whatever. Okay, clamps. You can see the quality difference in these compared to the one on my table. This is actually a stronger one. This is much stronger. And this is just like this one. So if you look at the clamps, some of them are just made differently. You can kind of see this, ha this bottom area has more space, but you can see they're on a table ledge. You just have to have that table ledge to be able to groom a dog on any table surface you have at home. So if you, again, if you need a grooming arm or a table, email me, let me know. We'll get you some links or they are on our website. Different ones are on our website. All right, I'm about to take you in the trailer and show you the hydraulic table that's manual. Okay, All right, here we go. We're in our uh, mobile grooming trailer and I've got the hydraulic manual table. So you're gonna pump it up like this. And depending on the size you have on your arm, look at this arm clamp, it's completely different. And so the clamp on this one is really big on the bottom. So it's a, uh, the reason why I got that one is, I believe that one even came with that black arm on the inside of the salon, giving it more leverage. Yeah, it did, because I have a black arm in the back of my trailer here. That gives it, a, for a bigger dog and a longer arm, it gives it more area here for that dog to kind of move around. If it's smaller, that the dog and the arm is gonna go flying off the table if the dog jumps, okay, with a big dog. So this would be my least favorite table. This is a 36 by 24. When you are working with an animal, uh, this does great. I use this one all day long in my mobile grooming trailer. I have used it for the small dogs and the big dogs. So I'm, I'm really happy about the size of the table. It doesn't hurt my back as much as the electric does when I have to lean over. It accommodates those 100 pound large dogs as well. The only thing I just don't like is I wish I did get electric. So I didn't get electric because when you have a mobile grooming table, you're a mobile grooming trailer, you're watching everything you do with electricity. So there's only so much you can run through a generator. So having a blow dryer, a water heater, a my clippers running, a, a vacuum system, you know, all these things are running at the same time. Uh, the water pump to turn the water on. And now I've got an electric grooming table. So I think I actually would be okay with the electric grooming table in here. So that would be my next buy. Because when I, what I hate is that you're in the mobile grooming trailer, you've got a dog here that's uh, maybe large, you know, large. Small dogs, you can just put them right down. You got a larger dog that's kind of high anxiety. Now I've got to actually do this to him. I've got to hold him and pump the table down. And that pump right there usually freaks, freaks up animals out a little bit. So I kind of give them a brace, give them like a hug, and then bring them down. So that's not my favorite thing to do. Um, so with that in mind, I probably would not recommend the manual pump up table unless you're at home and you have small dogs. Then you uh, drop the table all the way down like it is, pump it all the way back up, put your, small, put, put your small dog on the table, pump the table all the way up, groom your dog and then pump down. You have a small dog, it's your dog at home, you can kind of do more training. I'm showing up and doing one dog in an hour or so. I've never, sometimes I've never met the dog before and I expect them to understand all this equipment at the first time and it's really tough. So at home, this might work, but as a groomer, this is not my favorite table. Yep, and then depending on the grooming arm, you, again, it could be different sizes. I carry all the sizes I need here. Like I've got one lane right here, a small one, the 32 inch or whatnot. I, I carry, I think I have three grooming arms in my trailer. So it just depends on what you need. Always have a backup. What I have found is that if I'm out there grooming and I don't have a pair of clippers and for some reason my cord just stops working, I'm kind of screwed. So always have a backup. Like I have, I don't have two tables in here, but I do have two table arms. You know, I carry two clippers and you just never know what you might run into when you're mobile grooming and, and you don't have the loss of anything, electricity. So that's kind of, that's kind of okay. All right, thanks for watching Dee Croy and watch, I know I've been wanting to do this video for many of you uh, that have written to me and thank you for being patient. I know you guys wanted some information about tables. Maybe you haven't bought a table yet and you're still thinking about it. I would love to be able to send that table to you, so let me know. 
just email me, like I said early on in the video, D-E-D-E -D -E underscore G-R-O-O-M-S at yahoo.com. I hope this saves many of you some money and helps kind of guide you on to what table arm you need. If you just need a table arm for a table you have at home or that you can construct at home, if you need a table arm and a groom loop, uh, why to upgrade the groom loop, I think it's so essential. And then what tables do what? Manual versus electric versus just standalone. So one of our top sellers, which we didn't talk about, is a standalone 36 by 24. Most folks get that. Because all day long, it, it depends on if we're having to sell or not, it's between $75 and $100. They can walk out of the salon with a table arm and a groom loop. So if you're interested and you live in Texas, let me know. We have some tables like that on the floor. But otherwise, if you're, on, if you're shopping online like many of you do, please check out our store, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. And let me know personally if you need some kind of table specifically for the breeds that you're doing. Thanks a lot for watching DD Cord, my favorite groomer. Thank you for being on our YouTube channel. Appreciate you. Please share and help us get to 100,000.